There has been strong reaction in the US and around the world after shocking tactics were revealed about the CIA and its brutal tactics after 9-11. A report released yesterday shed new light on the harsh interrogation techniques used and said the CIA misled the government and the public about what it was up to. For more on this, I'm joined now by international relations expert Professor Robert Patman. Hi there, Robert. Good morning, Michael. Now, this report, what, what's your reaction to it? Were you shocked by the extent of the, the torture techniques used by the CIA? Well, I think it was public knowledge that after 9-11, President Bush authorised what he called enhanced interrogation techniques. But I think what's shocking about this report is exactly what was involved in these techniques. And as Dianne Feinstein, the Democratic chair of the Intelligence Committee which produced this uh, report, says it's it's torture by any other name um, and uh, includes sleep deprivation, waterboarding, which we already knew about, which is simulating drowning for the people being interrogating and a host of other unpleasant techniques to extract information. The release of a, of a report like this, do you think it can uh, prompt reprisals in, in uh, reaction? I think it's going to, if you like, restart or uh, recommence a debate that occurred during the Bush years, and uh, that is how to deal with the terrorist threat. And I think President Obama's position is that he believed he banned enhanced interrogation techniques in 2009. So the White House, whether it be under Mr. Bush or Mr. Obama, clearly knew what was going on. One of the interesting thrusts of this report is that Mr. Bush did not know fully what was going on, although he all provided the legal framework and the policy framework for this activity to occur. It's nonsense to believe that the CIA just goes off and does its own thing without the president knowing. The president is commander in chief and has that ability to shape the parameters of policy. So, but we have a, quite a few people weighing in saying the report is partisan. It's flawed because CIA officers were not interviewed what they do not say is whether they were made themselves available for interview. And uh, Dick Cheney, the former vice president, and uh, former President Bush have both described the CIA individuals involved in this interrogation or torture as patriots who were trying to get information which would not otherwise be available. As you say, it was a partisan report in the sense it was prepared by Democrats. Will Republicans yeah. ever accept... Or are some Republicans going to accept what's in that report? Yes. Uh, John McCain, who himself was a subject of torture uh, during the Vietnam War, has come in heavily in support of the report and says that it's important that, as a democracy, America faces the imperfections of uh, what happens sometimes in a, in a democracy. And uh, it's interesting that McCain, who is widely respected in American politics as party company with the likes of Cheney. Um, it, it, you know, one of the crucial things here we have to keep in mind, Michael, is that uh, such techniques, uh, are, you know, the, the many people are saying that the use of torture is absolutely counterproductive. It doesn't generate information uh, that is not otherwise available. And secondly, people are actually provide false information to stop the pain. Mm. That is, they're prepared to say anything to stop the terrible pain that's inflicted in them through these various enhanced interrogation techniques. Do you think we can be confident the CIA has genuinely stopped these techniques? Well, we've been told uh, by Mr Kerry, the uh, Secretary of State and President Obama, that this stopped in 2009. Now, the fact <laughs> that the new pre administration, I find this telling, the new administration put a stop to it immediately, knew that politicians running the country, that's the White House, bef uh, the Bush administration, if the opposition knew about it, then the, clearly the, the White House knew about it. And uh, yes, uh, I, I, I think uh, we can't be absolutely confident because the CIA is a well-funded, uh, potentially uh, autonomous organisation in implementing a government's policy. So there may be people doing things not exactly as intended, but uh, it, it would appear that... Uh, there's attempts now to bring this under control. I think there's a recognition that by staining America's reputation, I mean, Guantanamo Bay was a public relations, as was Abu Ghraib in Iraq, a public relations disaster and a windfall for the very people that you're trying 
uh, to uh, effect, effectively win the, the argument against, which is al-Qaeda and ISIS and people like this. You do not want to hand them a propaganda victory by engaging in the very behaviour that you accuse them of. Mm. OK, thanks very much for your time there. It's Professor Robert Patman there.